from Srinagar, Kashmir. My name is Ivana and today we're just gonna work because tomorrow we're leaving for Leh, Ladakh. I can't wait to see that place. And oh, by the way, this is a situation with Wi-Fi. Currently, I have to show you this. Wait, wait, wait. 79% uploaded after, well, now I think almost 20 hours of uploading. <laughs> I have to admit, it is a 30 minute vlog and it's 2 GB in total, but still, uh, the Wi-Fi is quite okay. I can upload, but it sometimes it's just down for an hour or two, you know, so that obviously doesn't benefit the uploading process. If the vlogs are late, if there are no vlogs on a day, please just assume that it's the internet. In general, it is just the internet, especially here in the mountains. It's, you know, it's a little bit harder than in the city. So yeah, I will deal with that and hope you guys can be patient too. But I know you are. I don't know why I say that. I know you are. You guys are the sweetest and most patient people in the world. I went outside in the garden to edit because it's a little bit more comfier temperature than in my room outside. It's actually really nice. The weather is super gray. You see that? But the temperature is really nice. See, I'm in my t-shirt, which means it's, it's nice and toasty. Also having this, well, the chana I bought in Delhi. What is it? Kala chana. It's good, it's delicious. It's like roasted chickpeas. I already had a breakfast with, you know, simple oatmeal and water. And I thought, I'm not gonna vlog that because that doesn't look good. And also I had some almonds that I bought in Delhi. Look at me being healthy. Mm. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> I've just stepped outside to eat, um, it is 8 p.m. Uh, as you can see it's already dark but there are still women in the street so I feel actually okay. And there was this nice restaurant where I was yesterday, the owner was super super friendly so I'm going back there. Currently at the same restaurant and it was really nice, the waiter he recognized me and was like oh go upstairs and this is my little corner and nobody bothers me. The owner just came up to you know, shake my hand, the guys are all sitting on the other side. So. You know what no matter what place you visit they're always good people and bad people and you just have to follow your gut who are good people and i feel safe here and good mm. i ordered chai in here and plain rice oh for the people who are asking why are you eating rice let me repeat this again my stomach up gets upset if i eat too much wheat rice is better for me so i can't eat that much uh, chapati or roti or naan or stuff like that because my stomach gets upset again i started reading the tibetan book of living and dying in morocco i'm reading the book in parts because some things really need to you know i need time to digest them and then i can read further on but now i think i'm ready to read on and this is a part about karma um, I really, really like this book. I can highly recommend it. So it is the, again, oh, wait. The Tibetan book of living and dying. I didn't have paneer yesterday. It was a sad day. <laughs> so I have shahi paneer here and some plain rice. Let me just, oh, crap. What is happening? No, 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 little paneer, you need to come here. You cannot escape me. How your paneer? <laughs> Damn it, come here. This is frustrating. Okay, I will have you later. Let's have some gravy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Need to have it. A bit of rice. A day without paneer is a sad day. I posted a picture on Instagram uh, on Dal Lake and I explained that. Um, things are really tough for me or have been in Srinagar and I uh, I also said everything that you could see yesterday in the vlog the reason why I'm doing this one I've always been honest whether I love things or I don't like them uh, I just want you to know that what my actual thoughts about the place are and in this particular case the thing is I honestly don't want any woman here, at least not by herself. I just have to be really honest because I'm getting more and more messages of women specifically who tell me like, oh, you're the reason why I traveled to India or uh, even girls who did a yoga teacher training with Sanji and Kochi. And I don't want to paint a perfect picture if things are literally unsafe. 
Like I know how to stand up for myself and I will manage and I even felt unsafe. Like yesterday I was too scared to, you know, keep on walking because I thought like I pissed so many guys off by now. There's a really good chance that somebody's gonna just come after me or, or you know, drag me in a car because I was walking next to the road and I saw all of these cars like full of guys uh, driving past me and the windows were down and they were, you know, saying things and uh, uh, la la, you know. So I was like, it would be so easy for them to stop and to just drag me in the car. That's why I went back. I, I really feel that this place is not safe if you're traveling as a woman alone. If you do want to come here, definitely take a man with you or another girl or go with a group. But although I think like even two girls, you will get harassed. But it's, it's a little bit safer than just being on your own. And that's the reason why I'm being honest. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't like talking negative about places. If I have to prevent it or if I feel like really that's just my personal opinion or whatever, then um, I, I prefer not to mention it. But if I feel like, my gosh, this is so important for someone's safety. If you're watching my vlogs and you get inspired to travel to places where I've been, this is what you need to know. Like, if you're a woman traveling alone this place, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't come here again. So, yeah, just know I'm not trying to offend anyone. I just want to be honest because I know people are watching my vlogs and I don't want anything to happen to anyone because I'm not giving full disclosure about how I'm experiencing a place. That's it. I packed already, well, not everything, but uh, most of it. Tomorrow we are off to, well, here's, uh, here's I'm speaking Dutch. I don't know. I've been speaking quite a lot of Dutch to people lately. What is up with that? Tomorrow we're first off to Cargill. I think I'm gonna take the bus. You have to see this. I am an idiot. And then we have an overnight there and then at the day after the bus continues to Lay Ladakh. Finally, finally, are you guys just as excited as I am? Because I am. I know I was editing a vlog where I had like a really bad gut feeling about Leila Duck, but you know what? I, I know Mother India always takes care of me and if I really wasn't supposed to go there, a lot of ish would go wrong and Mother India would stop me and she would just say like, nah honey, <laughs> this is not the place where you're supposed to go. But maybe I am, you know, Maybe I am mm, not anticipating what might happen tomorrow. So we'll never know if we'll actually get there. That's the beauty of India. If you would like to travel along and see what happens, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.